Hey, what's up guys? Random Comic here. I got some more Medal of Honor gameplay for you guys. I'm going to start out with the M24 sniper rifle, but I'm, I'm going to end up switching back to the uh, rifleman class with the M16. This is the one map that I actually snipe on usually because from my experiences so far, this is the one map that I do not really like that much. It, I've gotten a a 24 kill streak, uh, just pretty much patrolling those hills over there, and that was my highest kill streak I ever gotten so far is 24 kills, I believe. But I I just had some crazy games. I just gotta tell you guys, I wasn't actually recording, so it's uh, I'm really disappointed at myself for not recording it. But I got uh, eight artillery strike no the strafing run I got eight kills with a bomb from the strafing run I got <laughs> some crazy shit happened like multi-kill sprays and uh, five predator missiles and one but I really wish I was recording but hopefully me just saying how epic it was could help you guys out but here's showing right here how uh, reliable your secondary is I just pretty much own the shit out of these dudes with this pistol like this guy this guy right there should have had me that guy's just really slow, and I try to pick up this guy's AK, but he didn't have many bullets in it, so I get tore down. But enough of that sniping uh, BS. I'm going to switch to the M16, which is so far the most reliable gun that I can see. And I use the explosives right here. Just I don't really use them. I never use the explosive to get kills. I basically use them just as a kind of like a let them know I'm here, like kind of dare you to come around that corner. And so far, I'm having tons of fun with this game. I had some epic games, especially that one where I went 24 and 0. That one was probably I was trying I was trying to get 25 kills with it and I was almost going to turn on my uh HD PVR, but <laughs> the only way for me to do that would actually be to reset the system, so I could have there's no way for me to actually record that gameplay. But See, there's an example right there of bolt-action rifles. It's uh, it's the one thing, like I said in the gameplay before, it really does tick me off. But I can already tell that I've, I haven't faced... Every time I get in a lobby, I'm usually the highest-ranked person in that lobby. And nobody really has the open-tip ammo unlocked yet. So I'm pretty much just like owning everybody that doesn't have it. And any guys that don't know what the open-tip ammo is... It's gives you extra damage. It gives you uh, one more stat boost on your damage. So you can see how unfair that would be. Just like in Battlefield, I know that I don't do that one Battlefield because I feel like I'm not a high enough level, and I didn't get the game right off the bat. I didn't get the game right off the bat, so I wasn't able to unlock all that stuff. With this game, I was really smart. As soon as I got this game, I played a couple hours in. I unlocked that. So I knew that nobody would have a step ahead of me. So anybody that's kind of on the fence about getting the game, you better get the game soon because I can already tell that if you don't have this game like from now or like a month from now and you try to hop on here, you're going to get owned because everybody's going to have red dot, open tip, and all the other stuff unlocked. Like I just unlocked the veteran assault rifles. I'm not sure what they even do. They actually have less accuracy than the normal ones. For any of you guys that unlock the veteran weapons, you might know what I'm talking about. The stats are actually worse than the regular assault rifle. I don't understand why they would give me a gun that's worse than the one that you get at level 1. But I show off a, a few kill streaks in this one. I show off a predator missile and I don't get a kill with it, but you get a good view of an artillery strike. And I don't... I wish I knew the name of this map. This map is just... It's its too big. And if players are just camping in the hills, they're really hard to spot. Here's a nice little... Right here, it's kind of cool. <laughs> you didn't know, there used to be a door right there. The, the battlefield mechanics of stuff blowing up is in this game. So there's certain doorways and debris that will actually disappear. Here, I get a motorcycle. Let me see if I get anything with it. And not bad. I get one guy with it, but the spawn system right here. This is a this game has a funny spawn system where sometimes you'll literally spawn and die, and hopefully they can uh, work that out. But I don't really see a problem with it yet. It hasn't been overused or anything. 
so far everybody I've played with it except for a few pre-game lobbies uh, you could tell the Call of Duty players from the Battlefield players I mean Battlefield players camp but the Call of Duty players man they camp their asses off it's pathetic I think I get a nice rocket let me count how many I get with this right here let's see one two three four that's a nice there's a quad nice multi-kill and I get the predator and I realize you don't even have to aim anywhere you can just call him the predator I get that look like I got so many people but that was only three guys and I got the option of letting in the artillery strike I'm gonna pick that one because this is team assault kills matter more than the other ones but the other ones all are nice the defensive ones do help out your team a lot and let's see oh I do get a kill with that one it's the next one that I I don't think I get a kill with I got two guys with that one and here's a smart thing to do that any player if you don't start doing this you should do if you run out of ammo go to these freaking little ammo boxes they're little things that show three bullets in the air on the map if you go there and just like walk up to it I don't know if you have to press anything I always just press square I think you should press square but I think if you just walk right up to it it picks up the ammo for you but as you guys can see if if you had a couple of snipers in those caves they'd be pretty much impossible to spot and since there's no kill cam I can't see where my mistakes are being made but this game is pretty much over right here I think I get the final kill The final kill death I think is 29 and 4. Let's wait till the next screen, but let's see if I was right. But I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Um, stay tuned for more Medal of Honor stuff. I'm going to do like full breakdowns and reviews kind of stuff. Uh, but other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Uh, yep, I was right, 29 and 4. Uh, have a good day or night, depending on when you're watching this. And I'll see you guys on the game, man. Peace.